how to create a marble texture in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, set the foreground to black and the background to white. Now, what you need to do is go to the filter menu and use the render and clouds. That creates a lovely design straight away. What you need to do also after that is go to filter, render and difference clouds and that creates an even nicer design. Once you've got that, just go to adjustment levels now. Just go to the image menu, adjustments and levels, and that will just prove the sort of brightness of the whole thing. So I'm just going to drag that to the left and drag that one to the left. The middle obviously in the far side one to the left. And you can see those lovely lines there. That sort of looks like marble already. Click OK, got that lovely design. But if you want some more complexity to it, add a new layer and then repeat the cloud and difference, etc. So layer and new layer, click OK, and then go to filter and render and clouds. And this is a completely different pattern each time. So it applies that, it randomizes it and difference clouds again, and you can see that design. Now at this point, you can use blending modes just to go through lighten, screen, so you can see more of obviously the underlying layer, up to you at this point. And then also you can do image adjustments and levels again. Again, the far side or the middle one, just drag them over towards the left. You can see again that, that lovely line there. Now use a blending mode for layers, such as lighten, etc. Just go to the layers panel and just go through that. Lighten, screen, ah, that looks nice. Overlay, it all equally look nice. Soft light, yeah, I'm gonna go for soft light. And again, go create a new layer, and you can repeat this multiple times. Just go to layer, new, new layer, click OK, and then go to filter, render, clouds. Again, obviously difference cloud, right? And then again, using blending modes, or maybe just go straight to the image, adjustments, levels. Doesn't particularly matter the order particularly. And again, drag those to the left. Click OK, and the same, you see the lines again. And you can also apply effects. So just go to say, filter, blur, and actually slightly blur that layer if you want. It does create a nice sort of subtle touch to it. Again, you can use blending modes and you can see the different ones. Some works better than others. Lighten, screen. Yeah, screen looks nice as well. So lighten, actually equally as well. Or soft light, it's up to you. Overlay. Wherever you feel best for your right. Now you can flatten those layers. Of course, you could repeat multiple times, add more and more of those difference, etc. etc. Now, layer and flatten. And now you've got this one layer, which you can then of course manipulate a bit further. You can use image adjustments, maybe hue and saturation, and then colorize. And you can actually just colorize it so you can create some nice colorful marble instead of just black and white. But I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do next is actually just going to, we could use autotone as well. Doesn't really particularly matter. 3D menu and 3D menu to turn this marble into a column. Now, just go down to 3D, new mesh from layer, mesh presets and cylinder. That creates a nice column design. So just go for that. Let that process for a bit. It does take a few seconds. It's not instantaneous. It depends on the machine. I might be doing other things such as video tutorials or something. So, right. So once it's actually produced that, and it will do it. Right, there it is. You've got this lovely cylinder or column. And you can then manipulate it using the various tools there. You've got the various tools to move it around, rotate it in 3D space. So you can just do that. And of course, what you can do then, you can duplicate, instant, create instances, etc. Do many more things with it. You can save it to another document and so on and so on. Now, I've just gone back again. Just going to go to 3D, new mesh from layer, mesh preset and sphere this time. So instead of a cylinder, you can create, that's sometimes quicker actually. And then you've got this lovely sphere just created very quick and easy. And that, of course, you can again duplicate it, create instances, maybe render it and flatten the image there if you want. And that's it quick way of creating some interesting marble textures in Photoshop. Thousands of tutorials available on YouTube by graphicextras.com. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.